sidekick subscribers and viewers out there today. Hero887, your host, welcome you to day 47 in the countdown to Shadow of War. I hope you're excited because I am. We're going to be continuing to talk about the gear and uh, armors and weaponry that we can expect and upgrade. As we talked about last time, there are varying complexities, rarities, advantages, and disadvantages to the gear you will find in Shadow of War. And may I talk about today of the epic ranked items that will make our character even stronger. And how we obtain those and how we might defeat Sauron and his mighty armies. Alright, so let's talk about that. In order to obtain these epic rank items to make us stronger, or Talion in that, that is, Talion stronger, we must defeat the mightiest war chiefs of Sauron's army within the castles or the fortresses of the numerous regions we are tasked to conquer. If your target, for example, um, is very powerful. Let's say he is a high-ranking Urukai or an Olog war chief, and you defeat him. You increase your chance of obtaining an epic drop or even a legendary drop, and that could be anything from a sword to a rune, and so that is the rune that be applied to the Ring of Power. As I mentioned in previous episodes, if you're still new and you're scratching your head and you're saying, "What are you talking about, hero?" We'll just go back and check the playlist in the description below to watch some of the previous episodes, such as Day 48 and Day 49, as we talk about that. But again, this is day 47 and we're progressing along talking about how we get these items so upon collecting this epic weaponry the player will discover what is called a random bonus attribute and those random bonus attributes will be applied specific to that weapon or that item specifically so for example you could have on something like a dagger the 25 percent increased stealth damage to enemies on fire that's an actual confirmed thing that the dagger will have and if you find that it's great these buffs are intrinsic to that specific weapon again so note that this doesn't carry over to every weapon it's just weapon specific and those additional attributes the one that i mentioned just before it must be unlocked by completing a special challenge not all of the attributes will be some of them are at least the lesser not so good ones are already unlocked but the better ones you have to go and actually complete a specific special challenge for example you might have to go stealth kill an enemy on fire so if you want to get that you got to go do the special challenge first which can add a fun part of the game because it can obviously make your battles go better. So it's worth checking out and worth going and getting, especially on a more powerful weapon. In which case most epics have these types of unlocks. It's possible that others have these unlocks too, but not as likely since it's probably pertaining mostly to legendary, epic, or very rare type of weapons. Because it's pretty awesome buffs. Now also, in addition to this, um, the undoubted increase of power comes with these epic items, such as weapon buffs that will increase the overall uh, base traits, such as the um, number or attack number from maybe 400 and say now the 400 damage attack dagger will be up to 700. We've all seen that in RPGs. It's going to be similar in Shadow of War. And then um, tomorrow I will be talking about... How to acquire and boost your epic gear even better, even greater than it's already, even after unlocking those things, with something called Gems. Gems is a brand new thing introduced in Shadow of War, and I'm sure you're going to like it, so come back tomorrow. Check that out. Day 46 is tomorrow. But today we're on Day 47, and uh, enjoy the epic gameplay from Shadow of Mordor, the first game, here now. Hey! So welcome to some Shadow of Mordor gameplay. I'm just taking a look at my... Awesome follower, which is uh, Uga Kuga Blood Licker, and his follower is uh, Dugza the Eagle Eye, which he has explosive arrows, and that's a very awesome thing. He also summons nearby. El I mean, that's just that's very powerful stuff right there. I must say, if he only had Quick Shot, things could be that'd be amazing. And the Monster Slayer is very great. Obviously, um, we go into Shadow of. Uh, War Monster Slayer, I think, is going to be a key feature to have, just because I think there's a lot more creatures added into the game, and so Karagors are more of a threat, if not um, Drakes, for that matter. So imagine him shooting explosive arrows at Drakes and taking them down in the sky. This dude is pretty sweet. I'm thinking it'd be great if he could replace one of my current War Chiefs, who's actually really weak over here. This guy only really has a couple of good things going for him. Um, not much, though, besides regeneration. Other than that, he's vulnerable to mounted beasts. So, totally the opposite. <laughs> um, let me show you this guy, though. He's, he's pretty intense. He's got deadly, so that makes his attacks do way more damage. 
Um, and that is very great. He also has a group of followers as a gang leader. So I found that really great. Quick turn also is one of those things. So if he had Vault Breaker, I think he'd pretty much be one of the perfect uh, uh, followers for the upcoming game. But I will say he doesn't have invulnerability to range, which could be perhaps a problem. On the other hand, we do have Uga Kuga, and he does with a poison weapon, which, by the way, I can think that poison is going to be one of those most valuable item, uh, I'm finished saying items, but uh, attribute, let's say that, uh, ability, power to have, because obviously um, poison and fire create, uh, I think it's called bale fire or something. Anyway, very, very valuable, and I think having ba battle harden also makes him harder to kill. So I'm liking this, I'm liking this. If he just had some regen, I would think he'd be the perfect follower. I'm not going to say he's the final follower, but he's doing pretty good as a candidate, I must say. And then you have this guy, which I must say, uh, Bagaboog, the archer trainer, um, does have some awesome traits. Let me see if I can't scroll over to see those. Quick shot. Uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> My mistake. He really doesn't have much, uh, I have to say. Does this guy have the, the better ones? No, no, no. I really... Really don't think, but what was the other one? Did he have quick shot and then bloodthirsty recovers health from striking enemies? Okay, oh, that's right, that's right. I'm sorry. So he's got battle hard and harder to kill. Bloodthirsty recovers health from striking enemies, and get this: as soon as he starts to um, get low health, he becomes enraged. So he's going to regain health because he's bloodthirsty. I think that is a sweet combo. If only he had explosive arrows. Um, you know, perhaps we have. Um, the eagle eye perhaps could make a little transition up here into the war chiefs, but we're not talking about um, you know rent, you know going into that right now. Actually, we finished all the war chief missions, and at this point in time, we have to now go to the old dwarf missions. So that's what we're going to get into, and I will promise that we're going to make sure to get into the whole make a follower, make a nemesis thing. At this point, there's real no nemesis <laughs> uh, that I could say is bested me many times I don't feel like I've gotten myself any nemesis that have uh, caused me great harm and troubles can I kill you oh no you hurt me I felt oh okay I'm just getting distracted here this is not good sorry I gotta run cut some of this no no I'll just get to this all right, Karagor mission time. Well, let's do it. The dwarf claims to know the location of more artifacts from Kelbrumber's past, so we're going to continue the storyline. That is the gameplay. And I promise we'll get into some me? follower stuff. But enjoy some cut scenage. Hear me? It's a clean kill. And none of it is going to go to waste. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What were you? A lieutenant? No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain. Have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any Graug. The largest one I ever came across. <sighs> we must prepare. I should do just fine. I love how he just picks up this leg from that beast. Silver was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. The hunt is its own beast. One you must learn to tame. So great, a dwarf's going to teach us how to apparently go and hunt. Do not 
die. And if you have a gut, a big gut, then you're the perfect Order candidate to go hunt. and fight. These <laughs> hunt, will I mean, be by your something. Rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Well, I think this is a story Once unlocked for hunt, Captain, getting uh, the ability the to Hopefully dominate Karagors, if I do know. recall. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Karagors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. But Karagors! To, here to figure them out. To figure them out. Cargors. Yeah. Buggers hate water. I hate I it. I once tried to ride one through a river. She hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? <laughs> well, it's so funny. Uh, actually, reminds me in Shadow of War, there's some pretty epic uh, footage where the dude uh, is trying to run away from a bunch of Karagors in a siege mission and finds himself actually like thinking he's all chill and he can sit up there and he's all cool on top of this high pillar or fortress uh, pinnacle and all of a sudden he sees like four or five Karagors climb up at him and try to destroy him and I don't know who was playing the gameplay but I just thought about how that was pretty interesting. The Karagors have seemingly gotten better at jumping and climbing in Shadow of War. Don't even try. So I'm excited about that. Alright, so let's check it out. Karagor Hunter awesomeness coming up for ya. So do a uh, Y counter uh, leap and um, use it to mount the stun care course. All right, so that's cool. It's time to dominate you. Two Woo! All right, that didn't work. <laughs> I was expecting Y to uh, work, but that didn't work. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I'm supposed to press Y this time. All right, Karagor, come at me, bro. What now? Climb on its back. Climb on its back! Okay. You got it to dominate. We're gonna dominate and nate and Potato tate. <laughs> the potato done potated became a french fry. Alright, so we can do all the cool stuff with the biting and uh, you can use range mode, strike from above. Of course, that dismounts you, so gotta be mindful of that. Are you gonna go help? Go ahead and tame yourself. Wow, you don't even have kill a brimbo power, but you just punch it in the neck and then it's yours. How come yours looks cooler than mine, man? Like what? That's about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad. One thing there. is, Where'd you get your training, there's nothing Captain? natural I about the Black Gate. Talion. Black Gate. He doesn't realize nice that place. yet, but so we don't want to spoil it for him, right? All right, so let's. Go Karagor Raiden! This is kind of cool, I must say. Up until this point, though, I've really not bothered with doing anything with Karagors. Yeah! Let's destroy... Eat his little giblets. Hey! Don't hit my Karagor. One thing that's really epic in Shadow of War, of course, is uh, the new weapons. Uh, well, one new weapon in particular, the spear! Or the glaive, or something, what's it called? And, uh, it can be most enjoyable. And add for some epic, uh, killing. Just, uh, gonna go ahead and get some of these guys done dead. Okay, good job ripping his guts out. Oh, here's one. Just grab his leg, and then, uh, toss him. That kills him. Now, you know, you makes total sense. You, you know, there's like um, a main artery or something in their leg, right? You attack and rip it open and they're good and dead. Oh, I just noticed there's like a 7 versus V3, a Torvin up here. So it looks like... Oh, gonna get this boy. Uh-oh. Range time. I can't aim. Okay, there we go. Hey, time to go kill some more range dudes. And I need to make this, uh, leaving mission area? Yeah, oh, be quiet. What? How did I miss that? There we go. Slay the braided feather. Hey, look, there's a little bit of bees. Bee action going on. I'll drop that. Ah, what, what happened? I'll do that to get some elf shot from my Karagor. That works. Oh wait, there's another. What am I? What am I waiting for here? Oh, 
Oh, okay, there we go. Kill him. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? So I'm supposed to stay close to this guy. Kill more Oryx. Okay, you got it. Oh, come on, wait. Okay, that didn't work. Unfortunately. There, Maul is neck and fresh. Well, this is uh, going pretty good, I must say. What fun it is to ride these beasties. Oh, looks like you need some help there, Torben. You got a berserker going on berserker on you. Let's take on a fresh batch. I thought that's what we just did. Ah, come on. Now running short on lessons. Running long on lip. You'll need to think on your feet. All oh, right, I will plan on doing it. Restore health. All right, come back, Karagorgi. Let's get to. Uh... Oh, be quiet, you idiot! I was around the other side of the rock. <laughs> okay. You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look me for help. So, um, this is going nice. Training yourself to see the oh, okay, moment. we've seen a bunch of bad dudes down there. We're gonna go be and go and kill them, I think, is the plan. This will be alright. Here we go, boys! <laughs> oh no, someone done slapped me. Okay, just maul them down, boys. Oh no, they're throwing junk at us. Uh oh, we gotta take care of this, the guys that are throwing stuff at us. Okay, here, let's shoot the guy with the shield over there. Man, my aim is getting off these days. It's getting rusty. Kill them all! Kill the hairy ankle biter! <laughs> okay. Who's the hairy ankle biter, huh? Oh, Berserker, you're going to be in going Berserk on me. No, I don't think so. My Karagor is down low in health. That's a little concerning. But obviously I'm winning this here showdown. <laughs> Suckers! Well, oh, missed. Hey, that's my kill. I weakened him. I weakened him. Oh no! You gotta go run and kill them! That's no problem. Here we go, we're gonna bite his ankles. And we're done. Quiet. Something must be wrong. I go to Italian. Oh great, so as I ran away, Torvin got himself into trouble, eh? Oi? Perhaps we should track the hunter. Where'd you go, Torvin? You make a nice meal, Dwarf! Oh, great. Before you draw your sword, why don't you just think about that? Just so you know, I had him. Okay, Torvin, nice. What does riding categories have to do with killing grogs? All these questions, Captain. Oh, you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. To respect the beast. Need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, hunt. Respect the dark. Who knows? Yet we'll even call you sir. Eh? <laughs> well, you gotta love the sense of humor. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of this gameplay of Shadow Mordor. Don't forget to come back tomorrow or hit that subscribe button to be uh, notified when the next video comes out. I'm bringing you daily content of gameplay and Shadow of War discussion. So thanks again for watching and uh, hey, it really helps if you leave a like on this video, help it get noticed. If you've enjoyed it, consider liking. Thanks so much for watching Hero 87, your Hossein Sayonara.